Okay, folks, today we're going to test this very cool 1970 Mercury Cougar AM FM stereo radio. This thing is awesome. Um, this radio will fit 60 or 70 Mustang and Cougar the way it is. Um, in fact, I believe it'll also fit 69 models. The difference between the 69 Mustang and Cougar radio and the 70 Mustang and Cougar radios is in 1970 they either got Cougar or Mustang written across the top of the dial here. Um, if you were to take the lens out and polish the Cougar part off, then it would be correct for 69 Mustang and Cougar, and I believe it'll also fit 68 Mustangs and Cougars. Uh, that said, the way it is, it's correct for a 1970 Cougar only, and uh, the model number here, the Ford part number is D0WA19A241, and the Bendix part number is 0FBW, and that uh, shows you that it's a 1970 Cougar AM FM stereo. We're going to test it today. We have it hooked up to a 12 volt battery, the correct 8 ohm speaker, and an antenna. And I'll take you through AM and then take you through FM. Uh, I tested it a little while ago. It works great. The only thing I see that is not functioning the way I'd like to see is the stereo indicator light here. And that is supposed to turn on when a strong FM stereo signal is tuned in. It only seems to turn on when the volume is like cranked all the way up on FM to where the, vo the sound starts to distort. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure these have a sensitivity adjustment somewhere in the radio. But I am far from a, uh, a radio expert, so I don't want to start going and turning dials. Um, that said, it works great. Um, you could have it sent out and uh, tuned up before you install it, and I'm sure that would take care of that stereo indicator light. Um, also on these old Ford radios, I found uh, sometimes just leaving them uh, playing overnight. Uh, recharges the capacitors or does something internally to where things like that start functioning again. Uh, this radio probably hasn't been used for a couple decades so not a surprise that some of the stuff is going to take a little bit of little bit of moving and shaking to get moving again. Anyway, uh, we're going to test it today. We have it hooked up on AM now and we'll start here. Anyway, I won't stop at every station. <laughs> Excuse me. Las mejores notas y los y los aturdí. Que pagamos impuestos los pobres. Mira, 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 mira. Anyway, lots of stations here. Understanding of maleness and femaleness, and it just for political reasons, it would be yeah, yeah. Less and the Gilded Age plus receive a bonus American collector's. Anyway, awesome reception throughout the dial here. We'll switch over to FM. We're on FM now. On the central coast where termites okay, before we get too far and I forget, let me show you that uh, both channels play here. So you can see right now we're on this end one, which is, it looks like the orange wire. We're going to switch back over to this side, and this is the other channel. So you can see we're light, loud and clear on both uh, channels. Okay, finally I'll show you, let me show you if I can show you this orange uh, indicator light light up here. Like I said, it only happens when you just turn it I still am not even seeing it pop open now. We'll try again. Okay. You have an adventure every single night. Anyway, awesome. You have a novel effect. No, no, no. 
Because um, I'm a Chinese student. Very often, grace, come on now. Anyway, I'll show you all the push buttons work here. We have them set above each individual push button at the moment. And finally, I'll show you how to set one. So if we sign a station we like here, which I like this one, we pull out any push button we like to set, push it back in. No matter where we go, we can go right back to where we were. Anyway, let me see if... No. Yeah, I can't get that bolt to light up there. It lit up earlier when I turned it up all the way, but anyway, it's the only thing I see that I'll need help on this radio is that stereo indicator. It's possible that it's just not lighting up because we don't have two speakers hooked up to it now. Um, I could try to switch back over to the other speaker here. There we go. So now we're on the other channel. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful looking and working radio. Um, I guess I didn't show you the whole thing. You'll see more in the pictures, but all the wiring is still intact including the ends. Everything is super clean on the radio. It looks like somebody glass bead blasted the top plate at some point and then reinstalled it, but everything else is not messed with at all. Just a, a nice original unit. Oh, we lost our antenna there. You can see, uh, looks like we're dated the 198th day of 69. Everything's still intact here. I don't believe the knobs are original. Um, the reason I say that is the inner knobs have a D2 cast into the back, which is 1972. So I imagine the knobs have been replaced, but uh, if you're replacing an AM radio, you can simply take your AM knobs that you have on your radio now, put them on the FM radio, they're interchangeable. Anyway, if you've been looking for a factory AM FM stereo radio for your 70 Cougar, look no further guys. These were rare when they were new and they're almost impossible to find today, especially in this good working condition. Don't miss it.